let me explain to you why Qasem Soleimani was killed. It's very simple. Because he rolled back the Salafi Jihadi forces that the U.S., the CIA, had been backing in Syria to destabilize another independent sovereign country. And he helped prevent, by organizing the popular mobilization units, Hashd al-Shabi, he helped prevent Iraq from becoming a U.S. client state. It is that simple. And the assassination of Qasem Soleimani is revenge for his success in rolling back the most vicious imperial plot that we've seen in recent years, which sought to have black flags, the black flags of ISIS and Al-Qaeda, the organization responsible for the 9-11 attacks flying over Middle Eastern cities. Qasem Soleimani is being mourned in Iran for that reason. And there hasn't been a resistance for years because of the congressional Democrats. What have they been doing? Seeking, seek, where, have they been, where have they been? They've been seeking to impeach Donald Trump for not being warlike enough on Russia and for not sending offensive military weapons to a Ukrainian military that is incorporated in its National Guard, the Azov Battalion, a neo-Nazi battalion. Why should we be complaining that they're not getting weapons? What they should have been doing is resisting a $735 million NDAA and not stripping out a resolution that would have stopped this goddamn war to run in the first place. So it's up to us to be in front of their offices. It's up to us to be informing our fellow citizens about the lies we're being told. It's up to us to be in the face of a bought out, sold out corporate media. It's up to us to be the real resistance. The resistance hasn't been out here at all. They've been pushing for more war, not less. And we have to make one thing clear, that if war comes on Iran, it will be for the same reason that this government has been threatening war on Venezuela, on North Korea, on Syria, and why they've done just done regime change in Bolivia. Because these countries refuse to be absorbed into the empire. We need to stand in support of the independent states and international law and support their right to be sovereign.